needed clarity position-wise before the school or the school before the position? The school before the position. Um, I, I'm good with playing all five positions on the line. I, I just want to get on the field as fast as I can. What about offense, defense? Offense for sure, yeah. Um, what really sold it was when Coach Elson went to the team up north. Um, that was the only squad we were looking at a D-line, and that kind of had a weight off my shoulders after that, and I knew I was going to play offensive line for sure. Do you prefer to play offensive like, like personally, do you enjoy that? You know, I enjoyed defense at, at first, but not, like after this past year, my first year, I, I've never had as much fun on the football field playing offensive line. Obviously, that being your first year playing that full time, yeah. what do you think that you learned? Yeah. Um, I learned a lot. I still have so much to learn, though. I've been in uh, uh, breakdown films with a couple coaches, and they've shown me what I've done great, what I've done, uh, what I need to work on. And one thing I need to work on is definitely pad level. Um, I, like I said, technique is a huge part of the offensive line, and I, I have so much to learn still. What's it playing defensive line? How did that yeah. help you make you know, be a better offensive line? Yeah, um, I played defensive line seventh through ten, tenth, not even still now. Um, it's, I know a lot of their moves and what's coming. So um, when I break down someone's film, watch watch them, watch my opponent. I'm able to see what their favorite moves are and expect that before they even do it. Will you continue to play both sides? Next yeah, year yeah, yes, sir. I'll, I'll play both for sure. My last year. What did you uh, learn about? I guess like the business of college football. Right? You're getting recruited by Notre Dame. Yeah. Coach Lee. You're getting recruited by Ohio State. Coach Lee. They do what's best for their families, and that's totally fine because I would do the same. Um, I, I Honestly, one of the big things for me uh, wanting to commit now was it, where would I be happy at, whether Coach Day were to somehow leave or Coach Fry was to leave. I still think Ohio State would be a great spot. I love it there. Um, and if I was a normal student, I think I'd go there out of any school. Some players commit and then visits start. I heard you yeah. say earlier that that's not you, though, right? What, yeah. What, what's the situation in terms of visits? Yeah, I'm done with visits for sure. I'm shutting that down. I'll only be in Columbus. Um, I think that's kind of disrespectful, to be honest with you. If you're committed somewhere, you're committed somewhere, and I'll 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 be like I'll be like that for sure. And the only reason I would is if something crazy were to happen, which I know won't. So I will be just going strictly to Columbus and back. How did uh, you, you mentioned the conversation between your parents about making this decision? Yeah. What was that conversation like with you and I? Yeah. Um. And it was it was awesome. So I had actually texted him the day prior, um, wanted to call him the next morning, and he told me to call him at night. Uh, he didn't really understand why. So I was at midday at school, and my coach, Coach Adams, my coach, he got a text from a Coach Day saying, "Can we talk?" And he texted me that, and he had asked if I if Coach Day had known where I was going yet, and I said no. So just keep it between us two. Um, I don't know how that I don't know how that went. You have to ask my coach, but. Uh, that night I got on the phone with him, and um, at, at first he told me he had not ate any solid foods that whole day. So he was a little, I think he was a little scared, of, a little nervous on what I was going to do um, initially. But uh, once I made that commitment, I, he was screaming, he was happy. Um, he was really excited to get this thing rolling. What about your brother? Yeah, uh, Ryan, I think, I think you know, his, our personalities are completely different. Yeah. Um, he does his thing, I do my thing. Um, I think when I told him, he gave me a smile and said, he's kind of like, yeah, I, I kind of knew you were going to go there. I was like, yeah. But he was super excited. Um, a lot of, like I said, um, one thing I'll say is our QB recruiting-wise is completely different than any other position. Like I said, our personalities are different. So obviously I'll recruit him, but at the end of the day, where he wants to go is I'll be happy for him, even if it's a team up north, unfortunately. Along those lines, you obviously have you and Josh Pierre. Yeah. Who are your next targets? You know, yeah. Um, Chase Bizantis, Payne Kirkland, Austin Severfield. Um, I'm actually so funny. I don't know if you guys knew this. We, we actually, I texted Josh a couple weeks ago. Uh, we set a scrimmage up, so we'll be playing in the summer. Wayne versus us, so we'll be going traveling to Dayton. Um, he's one of my best friends, to be honest with you. Our families are really close. I've seen him every time I've gone up to Ohio State. Like, he only lives an hour and a half away, too, so we'll definitely begin working in the summer. What does it mean? Uh, you know, you have CJ Davis. Yeah. Guys that have kind of taken initiative in terms of that. Yeah. What did you see from those guys? What did you learn? And you're like, yeah, like that can be me in 2020. Yeah, um, I think something that helped me with that is uh, just being around them. I got really close to them really fast. Uh, obviously, I went to all the visits. CJ was there every time. I got to know uh, Jack in a small world because my cousins actually lived in Columbus. And now my cousin plays at Creighton and they moved to Memphis. So we've known that Jack's, uh, they've known Jack Sawyer's family for a long time. And Obviously that helps, and I'm super close with all of them. But I'd say the closest person I'm, cl one of the closest people I'm with is Paris Johnson, just because uh, our families are super close. My mom, our moms are, 
and uh, my dad plays with his dad, obviously. So I talk to him all the time. I hang out with him when I go to Ohio State all the time as well. And uh, he was a big factor in this decision for sure. Name, image, likeness is now part of the equation. You're an in-state guy. You're yeah. not far away from Columbus. I mean, how much did you think about that in the process? Um, Actually, that was just a bonus, to be honest with you. Um, I know a lot of kids are starting to look at that a lot more. Um, NIL might be most of their decision on where they want to go. But I still think academics are more important, and that stuff, come, if it comes, it comes. But as an old lineman, you know, I'm not very sure if that will, uh, if NIL will really affect me as much like other positions. So, how, um, how did you build a connection so quickly with Coach Brown? Did you know him at all before he? I did not actually. Um, he had texted me uh, the day he got the job, and I, what, I, what was just different is I feel like our personalities are pretty close to similar, and that's right off right off the bat. His first impression, our first impression to each other, were like that. Um, and I, I was super excited to, uh, and eager to get to uh, Ohio State and see him in person and spent the whole day with him there and my salt. Um, and after that, I, I really thought to myself that I want to come in. It took me a couple weeks, and I finally went to my parents and told them that I was going to be a Buckeye. When you watched film with him, what, what did he like about you, and then what did you like about how he had a film? Yeah, um, he had a lot of enthusiasm just during film, which I know if that was his film side, then I know his on-field side is going to be crazy. Um, one thing that uh, he told me I do well is obviously footwork. When he came to my basketball game, um, he was always raving about how I was flipping my hips on defense and stuff like that. And initially, I think he told me um, inner, um, the inner of the line would be where my spot's at. But now, after seeing my footwork, uh, he thinks I could find the outside, and that's where he's going to start me at. How important, or has he expressed to you how important he feels like, as you know, Josh, I'm getting awesome. Three guys from yeah. Ohio are sort of like the base of his class. Yeah, um, they plan on taking four. Um, Austin, definitely the next one. I want Malik. Obviously, the in-state kids need to stay here. Um, I know that if we get those two, then sky's the limit for sure. Four offensive linemen. Yeah, four offensive linemen. So we'll go after Peyton or Chase, I think, as well. Peyton Kirkland or Chase Bazontis and get one of those kids, hopefully. And um, that'll, that'll, be, that'll start something pretty big here, I feel like. Did you give, your, give a scouting report of yourself? Like, what kind of player on this team? Yeah, um, I'm, finishing, I'm finishing you uh, to the ground. I'm not going to stop, even if I tabletop you. Friend. Yeah. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm a, I'm pretty nice off the off the field, but on the field I'm a completely different animal. Um, don't don't mess with me. I'm super energetic, probably a little too energetic to be honest with you. But um, yeah, it's just super exciting. When I go on the field, I just change. You had mentioned obviously 